Ooh, welcome back, Scrum and Scrubettes, to another episode of Static Ray Plays Minecraft. We are back at it again. Heading on down. Fairly recently, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I updated my skin a little bit here. Uh, basically, there's this headband that you see right in front of your face that uh, I did not add at the very start of my skin creation, and I completely forgot about it. And it, it was a huge face palm. It's like, oh my gosh, why did I for, why did I forget that? It's you know one of the most crucial parts to my skin here, because this this little bandana I have it's supposed to be what is called technically a uh, chompy bird hat. Um, well, it's 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 more detailed. It's more specified expert dragon archer hat. It's referenced from RuneScape, which is an MMO game, which uh, is a game that I love playing. Um, but as well as the shoulders, if you can see, I buffed up the shoulders a little bit. And the, the fist area right there. And then the boots. So I buffed up all those things. Oh, and also the amulet. I tried to pop out a little bit. Because we are on Minecraft 1.8 update. And they came out with, uh, you know, the brand new second layer skin customization as well. So if you go in, you know, skin customization settings, you can... Uh, change different things to be on or off like let's take my hat off let's check it out do I have my hat on no I do not it is gone and I look a bit weird with <laughs> without my hat on <laughs> so let's get that bad boy back up and running alright excellent um, so I feel much more confident with my skin creation now the update that I added to it. I also made a version to where I buffed up the arms as well um, but I turned that off for now. I'm not sure how often I'll be going on to that but uh, we'll stick with this current skin. Um, but today's mission you know what? Ah, oh, it despawned. There's a bunch of chicken carcasses and feathers. Like this happened before, like what the frack? I don't really understand what's going on here. My chickens just all got massacred again, which is completely fine. But screw these guys, man. They're, <laughs> they're annoying, plus I don't really need their meats. I got steak, the best food in this Minecraft world to have. And feathers, I'm good on arrows, but I just wanted to start off fixing and repairing the damage that was dealt to uh, to this guy here and I see I'm uh, missing some fences that is okay we'll g go grab some fences here quickly um, but yeah regarding any updates along my world here anything new that I've been working on and uh, not a whole lot I'm trying to plan something, a big build that I was going to do if you ever watched my series on the Infinite Labs SMP server, uh, survival multiplayer server that I rarely go on now. Mm, so basically I'm transferring the idea in which we left off of there to my world here. What am I looking for? Fences. Fences, man. Fences. Get with the game. We'll just bring a couple of these. Why not? I'm going to need my uh, feather falling boots. Thank you very much. All right. Down we go. I'll see you later. Thank you, Bush, for being my, in my way. All right. We're down here now. Excellent. Good. Patch them up nice and easy like. Great. And we'll toss those because we don't need them. See ya. All right. So that is should be repaired. Just kidding. Not fully repaired. We need a we need more one more block there, but <laughs> that's enough dilly dallying over there. 
something I wanted to quickly show you a couple things actually. This tunnel. Ow, 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 ow. That was not there ever. You practically almost die. I don't even. It's bad. Okay, it's it, it's just bad. Come here, Franken horse. Let's go. This way we go. Thank you very much. It's bad. So that is not a good thing because it it wrecks my whole plan. Kind of. Well, I mean, in theory, I could take this stuff out. Get off the freaking horse. I could do this. Would that work? Let's let's quickly try this here. It should work. But then you know the ceiling would not be the same height all the way around like it used to be. So I'm not sure if I should yeah, okay. See we we completely missed the ceiling there, but holy crap. It's bad news is what it is. Uh, so that was one issue and then if we take a ride over to our uh, what's it called Skyfall mob tower I think is what I called it meow I gotta do something with those cats I want to come up with a like cat palace design but I haven't really gotten around to it quite yet Ooh, I see the uh, mobs are still dropping in hello good all right, look at all this loot. Looks like it's still working. <laughs> About that uh, Enderman, those those pearls I thought I was gonna get because Enderman would spawn up there. That was not the case. Enderman do not spawn in that thing. Uh, so I I kind of ruined, wasted some. Wow, this tunnel too. Oh my gosh. This is not good guys. This is this is way not good. I really have to fix this because I travel through these tunnels. Well, not recently since I haven't been on my single player world here in a while, let alone Minecraft. But uh I really gotta fix those tunnels. Alright, let's put that on the checkerboard, shall we? But let's go check out the town hall. Town hall. See if we did anything to it recently I don't think I have I mean I put in these posts I think that's about it from what you guys have seen uh, still not sure how long I want to make this bad boy I mean I started you know of course bringing bringing this landscaping out just not sure where I want to bring it out to uh, alright, so, regarding the big plan I was talking about, let's, let's, uh, quickly take a quick, a quick pillar up in the sky, we'll do it from this angle, cause why not, <laughs> alright, oh, that's funky, okay, so, basically, if you, if you look close enough, you'll see little pieces of cobble spread out in a circle, in a huge circle, rather. Uh, so I'm trying to roughly sketch out how big I want this build to be and the scale of it. Whoa! Get out! And uh, all that good stuff. Where'd my freaking horse go, man? Where the, where the frick did my horse go? Oh boy, I'm gonna ground that guy. Hey, buddy, you are gonna be grounded. I haven't named him yet. I have like, oh, you know that reminds me. So I, you, ha, has anyone tried fishing in Minecraft lately? Because reason why I ask that is I heard it's more improved in terms of the loot I'm, it, it's been out for quite some time I know I'm a wicked late on it but uh, I haven't taken a look at it quite yet so I have two fishing rods here one 
I have as a regular fishing rod and uh, basically I'm gonna sit here and fish my butt off and be wicked bored <laughs> so I have you know the regular fishing rod oh my gosh really and the luck of the C3 lure 3 enchantment on a fishing rod so I'm not sure how how good these are especially the enchanted fishing rod but I heard you can get like you know there's new fish out really did I not get that there's saddles you can get from fishing now name tags uh, what else that's all I know off the top of my head but it's just fishing you know you can get rare drops from fishing okay that was my horse thought there was a mob coming up on me but I'm gonna do some fishing here and see what I get ooh see those particles ooh what I get raw salmon that was nifty man Wow that was epic but uh yeah whoa I saw something up in the uh, sky there for a second that was weird all right <laughs> let's move on I'll see you in a bit all right so after about roughly 20 minutes of using this fishing rod we've got some clownfish raw salmon puffer fish and regular raw fish as well as a saddle so that was that's you know okay that's great it's confirmed you can get saddles now with uh, the fishing rod but uh, so that's that's pretty cool I didn't really want to do the uh, fishing with the regular fishing rod because time wastes <laughs> time wastes huge time wastes ooh lag whoa 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 oh my that was not good okay but let's bank all this stuff in here and we'll think about it later I'll grab it later when I'm when I'm not busy off camera so goodbye chests and now did I say what today's mission was maybe not if I didn't today's mission was uh, I wanted to start building a little slayer dungeon and a location in which I would like to put it is uh, if we go on this little this little road here uh, there's a some some hills this direction and I thought well since the road doesn't exactly meet up in the center of these hills I could do some landscaping I could uh, you know fix this up a little bit here get some dirt plop it down around the place I will figure out a center point and uh, start my digging process and and uh, terraforming process but basically you know I want to to start a slayer dungeon in which it'd be cool to fight mobs in I was contemplating well hmm where would a good place be that has a spawner the closest one is at that pillar right there but that spawner is a zombie spawner but either way I don't know it's just like meh but um, you know of course it'd be I would dig underground in when while building this slayer dungeon and uh, basically you know in dark areas have mobs spawn and they would try to kill you and you'd have to defend yourself um, but I don't, I don't know it's just an idea I hope it can come to life here but uh, yeah I mean we'll we'll see how it goes I think we'll have the level right right at this level here which is Y78 okay that's great get rid of some of this dirt here I'm gonna need to grab some quartz in our storage house but uh in terms of building blocks yeah quartz let's see what else do I want to add 
some cobble, probably stone brick, things like that. I mean, we'll see. It's going to take some experimenting. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some terraforming here. Get this space nice and good looking for you guys. And then uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, so this is what I have so far on this layer dungeon basically the building will be right there and these little spots are marking out where I'm gonna place some pillars alongside it and these pillars on both sides I made it so it will be symmetrical uh, so you know one half will be the same as the other side that's uh, gener generally my main goal for that um, I'm going to make some court stairs here as well, maybe. I'll see how it looks. And then some pillars too. We're going to need quite a few of those. Uh, take a little bit more. Okay, 20. That's fine. Now, let's see what it will look like. So, let's start off with this one. We'd either have court stairs and pillars or see I don't know it's too much of the same I feel might have to make it like ooh, going down the stairs let's grab some stone bricks make some stone brick stairs and see how that looks and compare the two actually let's keep that there let's move you and uh, make some side-by-side -side comparisons, see how they look. Okay, I think that one stands out much better than this one. So, I think, yeah, that, I think that's what we're going to do here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need some more stone brick stairs. So, let's get those going. Alright. I'm um, gonna need some more supplies, I think. That's what we're looking at here. Get some more of that, get some more of that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this, this project, I don't know. I got inspired from, I was just listening to some cinematic epic music, and I got inspired by, whoa, okay, we're good. Just looking at one of the pictures, that he had on the video while listening to the music I had a guy I'm not sure which game it is but it's from some sort of some sort of game um, but it's basically a guy on top of this dungeon looking epic entrance with some pillars on the side and some some flames going up on these stairs there's gonna be some stairs here going up but um yeah i got inspired and i thought well why not let's just make a slayer dungeon of some sort so that's the story behind that now i'm wondering we might have to push this column back over here one block then we'd have to move this up one block as well so let's go ahead and do that so we need more space. We can't cram these pillars together. Otherwise, you won't get the full effect coming from them. And I want to make sure you guys get the full effect of what I'm doing here. But, uh, yeah. I'm not quite certain what I want the objective on the sled dungeon to be in terms of, like, down downwards into you know something something or other fighting mobs I'm not quite sure about that but I'm sure I'm sure as time goes by we will figure something out either way okay, let's get some more blocks uh, pillar quartz but yeah, I mean, not quite sure what I want to do, but I mean, we'll see. Well, it'll all pan out eventually. 
not too worried here whoop and as you can see this hill is going to be fairly a good size I can tell you that up front right now um, I wanted to hold off on the full terraforming effect until I actually figured out the spacing between these columns and what it would look like after I placed a couple but now that I have a couple placed I have a good idea what I am going to be looking at here so soon enough off camera I will be uh, getting this terraform terraforming going but as soon as we finish this pillar somewhat off a little bit here I'm gonna need some more some more pillars how, how high am I going here let's go up maybe four five blocks how's it gonna look with five how's it gonna look with five whoop that was an that was a fail I think yeah if we put some stairs just above that oh and then maybe light those on fire that means I'm gonna need more nether rack okay okay now I'm seeing what I'm getting into all right uh yeah all right so means we need some more of those guys boom 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 I have a lot of quartz oh I'll, I'll just tell you straight up I have nearly oh let's see how much about almost a full double chest full it's quite a bit quite a bit indeed all right now let's grab some more of you okay and now uh oh whoa now we can actually finish up these guys here so if we go up there place that and then let's see have stairs the uh, stairs going facing downwards the rough edge of them I think that would be good maybe we could even add glowstone there but eh, you couldn't see the effect coming off of it is the thing whoop give me that okay yeah either mm, glowstone or having some flames going it was interesting because when playing playing insomnia with my friend uh, Skillwort doing the skill ray action I did not know about oh whoa, hold on do I gotta go up one more block possibly I don't know yeah okay I did not know about the flame aspect like the flame material you can't get it in survival but uh, you need flames to create chain mail and I did not know that that was something new I learned about this game it's quite interesting okay so yep that's fine there Then we'll go ahead and repeat this all the way across the board and uh, I'll be back with you and see how it looks all right, placing in the last little piece of mm, uh, blinking out <laughs> nether rack. Wow, I'm sorry, I, ha I had to check that. I don't know, it was bad. Okay, so nether rack, uh, and just placing in the last bit of it. And we'll, ow, 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 we're on fire, we're on fire, we're okay, we're okay though. Thank you very much. All right, let's take a look and wow pillars get rid of these <laughs> you see nothing nope nothing here get rid of that thank you very much all right good good, good. now let's take a step back and look at what we got nice i like that that definitely does the trick i think goody goody uh let's fix this 
definitely makes it unique I think but yeah then they, that adds a nice touch to it and we'll go with it great so we started the Slayer Dungeon project finished the pillars so that's great and uh, gonna wrap up the episode guys want to thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode